the very first card that you got is Kali Ma talking about facing fear. Spiritual changes are unfolding, actually major spiritual changes are unfolding and this is your chance to soar. It is a chance, it's an opportunity. The energies are saying yes, the time is now. And some of you may be feeling some fear around that. Last, uh, in the mid-May reading, it was just like all good. It was like, we're taking off, we're gonna go, we're sort of done playing small, we're done. We, we Pisces had that sort of feel to it, like, okay, we're going now. Um, now maybe, and we might be, you might be looking at fear, <laughs> might be coming up. And so there's, I, it feels like there's a lot of cards that sort of say the same sort of thing. Like there's maybe three cards that say one thing, five cards that say something else, some other one thing. And it's almost as if um, when I was shuffling the cards, I were sort of, when I shuffle these cards, I only use cards that jump out of the deck. That's just how I do it. They have to jump out. I don't choose a card. They jump out. And so what happened with this reading is several were jumping out at a time. Over and over again. That's how we have so many cards. Several were jumping out and they all applied. And Spirit said, yep, use them all. So it's as if... It's as if the whole universe is supporting um, what Pisces are, you know, what it's time for. And to help us get past the fear, we're starting with Kelly Ma. We also have the Holy Spirit is with Pisces. Expect miracles. I love this card. It's the Holy Spirit. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. So expecting miracles and that spirit has your back. Very important. Uh, there also this one, Paul the Venetian is with you guys talking about sharing your gifts with grace, experiencing grace when you share your gifts. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. So we have love again. Love is coming. Love is coming. Expect miracles. Share your gifts with grace. Share your gifts with grace. There's a lot about sharing your gifts. We got to come out of the closet. This is an interesting card. It's not, it's not about gender preference. <laughs> it's about coming out and being seen in the world. It's time. It's time to come out and be seen in the world, even if you're afraid. Even if you're afraid, it's time to come out. Ariel is with us saying, "Be have courage. Have courage. You can do this. Be courageous. Stand up for what you believe in. Stand up and be courageous and get out there and share your gifts. The time is now. We got three cards talking about fertility and pregnancy. Look at this. We got Pan. Um, the fairies are here to tell us that blessings are coming. Blessings, if we share our gifts, blessings come for the whole world. That's what the fairies want to share with you. And then we also have the goddesses are saying it's the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, give birth to new conditions. Okay? It's time. It's time. And she wants to come back. Spirit has your back. She wants to come back in to say, Spirit has your back. The time is now. The time is right now. Even if you're afraid, the whole universe is behind Pisces to get out. It is a fertile time right now. Now, we also got Hilarion talking about divine healing. So again, she wants to come up with uh, the, I'm sorry, major spiritual changes. That's the one, major spiritual changes um, and divine healing. It's almost as if the healing, um, the healing will happen when you get out there. I had someone tell me that the other day. Yes, uh, 
and, and the inner work, inner work, inner work, and now it's time to get out there. The healing, the divine healing will be happening as you take actions and get out there. This is very much about the freedom that Pisces have been asking for for a very long time. The freedom will come. The freedom will come. You already kind of know these two came again. Your passion and power. Very powerful, Pisces. Passion and power. Have the courage. Have the courage to come out. To come out and be seen, even if you're scared. Ariel is with you, giving you so much courage. It's about independence. You know, this this one wants to go next. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's so many cards. This one wants to go next. This is a tsunami. Wake up call. The time is now go. Even in spite of your fear, it's the action steps now that will provide more of this these major spiritual healings for Pisces. Okay? Tsunami. Right now. Shush, go. You have the power to do it. You absolutely have the power to do it. You're very sensitive. Your sensitivities are increasing even more. Have you noticed that? Higher spiritual gifts. Your psychic abilities. You're saying your psychic abilities are very much increasing. Everyone's are, but Pisces are kind of at the the most sort of spiritual, it's just the Pisces are very, very spiritual people. And so that is also increasing. Stand up for what you believe in. Stand up for what you believe in. Get out there. Take a stand for yourself to get out there. Even if you're scared. And when you're scared, honor that. Honor these cycles of your emotions. In the water, she has the stick. She's just sort of swirling these emotions. It's okay. Honor them. You know, if you it, it can be scary. So, you know, work your magic to transform that fear into mm, into excitement, uh, curiosity. Get curious. Ooh, curious is a really good a really good word. Get curious about it. So get curious about the fear. It's like, uh, get curious about it. Where is it in your body? And sort of grab hold of it and transform it into excitement to get out there. Uh, we have, uh, let's see, mm, new career. New career. Um, now this card says new career, but it also says your work focus is shifting in a positive new successful direction and what they're telling me is um, there may be some clarity coming for some of you where maybe you've been ready to get out there you just didn't know quite exactly what to do some of that unclarity if that's a word <laughs> comes from the fear so, ironically, some of that comes from the fear, the clarity, but we're getting some help with this. Um, you know, tap in. It's, you'll, you should be getting some more, some more clarity on what it is that you're doing for your work. And your work brings you where to go. Where to go? Independence. It's your independence. This is very much about... Uh, becoming more independent in your work. Becoming more independent in the world. You can take care of yourself. Becoming more independent. This new career, this uh, clarity in your work that gets you out there may have a lot to do with indigos, children. Indigos and crystal children. We love the children. Oh, I love the children, the indigos and crystal children. So, um, sometimes it really helps our level of fear. If we're fearful about something, anything, um, sometimes it really makes all the difference to help another who is 
struggling in some way or fearful in some way. There's, there's, they're telling me there's a variety of things that the indigo and crystal children may be fearful about. They're coming in with high sensitivities as well. Um, while this card shows younger children, they're talking about uh, sort of teens. Uh, teens might be having a hard time and can really use you guys support and help and when you're sort of helping another as you know there's really not a whole lot of room for fear when you're busy helping another and so help the indigo and crystal children um, that that will that will help that will help you come out if that's your focus um, okay what else um, also, if you're struggling, um, innocence, your childhood innocence. So here's children again. See, and these are right next to each other. Childhood innocence. So there's kind of two meanings. They're kind of telling me there's two meanings with this now. You may be uh, an indigo crystal um, of any age of any age yourself and if that's the case you know still help another who you know helping each other really really helps and then also childhood innocence has two meanings in terms of going to your inner child to um to you know nurture through the fear sort of be the the higher being let your higher being nurture the fear that is in the child within you is where the fear is coming from okay so that that fear is coming from lifetimes of uh lifetimes of um suppression uh you know the salem you know um we don't live there anymore. We're not there anymore. That's not where we are. That's not where we are anymore. So going back to childhood innocence, the innocence of before all of that uh, will help, will help. And as your higher being can go into supporting your inner child and also other children, that will help. That will help you serve in the world. Okay. Um, they're also, let's see, we got admit your true feelings to yourself. Uh, admitting your true feelings. So if you're scared, it's okay. It's okay. It's, um, it's, uh, justified. It's justified to be afraid. It makes sense that you would be afraid. That's okay. So just admit that to yourself. It's okay. And again, talking to the, to the, the inner child, it's, it's okay to be afraid have every reason to be I mean yet your higher self is gonna go hand in hand with Ariel and just walk right through it walk right through it and come on out and and help others express yourself express what's inside of you express yourself I love this card this is so fun express your individuality allow your true self to shine because you're awesome I love this card this is so this is so you this is so you guys and look she has these sort of giant wings and all the colors and she's just oh out there did you just love her and that is you know how you if they're they're saying that's how you'll be received this is how you're going to be received see how you feel about her that's how you're going to be received once you take that step and get out there. One step is all you need. One step and Spirit's got your back. Take one step and follow your guidance and the next step will appear and the next step will appear, right? The stairs. One step. Express yourself. I love this card. The very next card is about sharing. Sharing yourself. Sharing this beautiful self everywhere you go you know you might ch you might dress cause she's dressed I just love it <laughs> I just love that when you share everyone feels happy when you're sharing 
sharing anything, sharing yourself, sharing nurturing, um, sharing your wisdom, remember what you've learned, share, share your light, share your light in the world, it will make you happy, it will make everybody happy, share your light in the world, so we've got sharing, sharing your light, express yourself, share, 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 just be yourself, that's all you gotta do, is just be yourself in the world, be yourself in the world, taking action, taking action to help others, this is what will bring you freedom. The freedom that you maybe haven't truly experienced before. <laughs> That's why they're calling it major spiritual changes. Major, um, you know, they're, she's calling it spiritual changes. Like in our, in, in Pisces' very being, there's a freedom that we maybe haven't experienced in a very, very, very long time. And it's here now. It's, it's here now. It's time. It's time. Freedom. Let's get curious. Let's get curious. Uh, dream time. Dreams. Dreams can bring clarity. If you're still struggling with, okay, but I don't know what to do. Like, okay, I want to get out there. I'm ready. Even if I'm scared, I'm ready. I'm, I have courage and I don't know what to do. Pay attention to your dreams. So they're going to be talking to you in your dreams. All right. Creation. Like really notice your dreams. And they're also wanting to talk about finding the blessing in your current situation. So you might be in a current situation that's not exactly what you're dreaming about. But find the blessing in it. It's an airplane. <laughs> find the blessing in your current situation. Krishna, find the blessings in it. And you guys are good at that. Find find what you love. Maybe keep a gratitude journal they talk about. Um, um, just notice everything you love about where you are. Even if it's not your absolute freedom, free life that you're truly, truly wanting. It's coming. It's on its way. But you might be in a situation right now that's still left over from, you know, your frequency before. So you might still be in a situation that you're not crazy about. And so find happy thoughts. Um, think about to help you get to this freedom place and this life that you're really wanting. Uh, remember um, parts of your life in the past in the aspects that you really loved. Um, you know, notice those. To feel happier right now, think about a memory or something that makes you smile. Just close your eyes and think about something that makes you happy from the past. And what that does is it, it wakes up that frequency. It raises your frequency to a happier frequency that brings this, that, that, that brings more lines up with this faster. Does that make sense? <laughs> of course it does. Pisces, you get it. You get it? Okay, so the time is now. Three of them. Three of them. The time is right now. So for some of you, you are taking the steps. For some of you might be really trying to manage this, uh, the fear, the fear uh, element, and just know that that Ariel is with you, giving you courage. Feel that energy of courage. She is just surrounding you with this. She's showing me, she's just sort of swirling around you. She's swirling around you with this courage. Oof. So think back uh, of a time in the past when you, uh, you know, were really brave and what that felt like. And in remembering that, in thinking of that, so this card's coming back with a new meaning. Um, remember what it feels like to be brave and get through a situation to the other side. Remember how it feels to be brave and have courage. You have the power to do that. You've got the power to do that. You've done it before. You can do it again. And the world, the universe, is with us. It's with us. 
thoughts right now. Right now, expect miracles. Expect miracles because they're right there. They're so close now, Pisces. One step. You take one step and then Spirit's just going to keep giving you the next step and the next step. So kind of stay in the moment. Take that first one. The first one is the hardest, right? You can do it. You can do it, Pisces.